Hello, and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. Get ready for the ride of your life. Hopefully, you will be instructed to watch the rest of the spit out. For many years, I have wondered how do people make funds? Because there is just a whole world of funds that's available to you, and I see if somebody making these things well, somehow. I looked into the software that they use, and some of their software is expensive. And then I stumbled onto this website called Calligrapher, and Calligrapher is free. Look at this. I said this right here looks good. Immediately, I created an account. And then I followed the on-screen steps. Step one, create a template and print it out. I said, this can't be that simple. Watch the, on the left side is where you click which character sets that you want to make a five for. So I chose minimum English and minimum number. Then I click download template. If I did not mess with none of the settings, download it, printed it. And this is what we wound up with. And I ain't going to drag the thing out longer than it needs to be. Look, all you got to do is write in these boxes. If you're good at drawing, get you a sharper marker and just, baby, go to town with it. That's terrible. Anyway, that's just for illustrate some purpose right there. You even could break out your fountain pen with your broad nib if you got one. Maybe you can go into Hobby Lobby and just get you some little little stickers. Uh, but to be honest, that's how rare I find that you can get on your computer. So perhaps you will go through Ventus Magazine thing, look. What? And just find you some old letters, look at that. And literally you could just cut and paste these letters. Or you could just take a photograph if you don't want to ruin your catalog. Cut it and paste it on the computer. But craft me, I prefer to work dishes. All right, look at that. And look at that. It's just as bad as I normally would do it. But the thing about digital is you can do things like I want to do a number eight. I'm going to do that right there, and look at that, and then there, right there, and then look at that. All right, what's the? All right, what's this now? You know, and that's one thing I like about Procreate. If you hold it down, you can straighten it up, you know. And then we just going to fill that in. All right. Look at that, we got us a letter. So then you get many letters and numbers as you would like. And you get that template on the computer and just put these letter, copy, paste them in there. The way it works is you will fill in all these boxes with your letters. You're going to scan this or photograph this back into your computer. It's going to extract your letters from these little spaces. This is the default grid size for Calibra. You also can print it like that right there. You also can do this right there, even larger. Because what if you want to do, you know, that's just one of many ways that you can use them. I just want you to know there's so many possibilities to them. But if y'all been watching Craftman Man off for a little bit, you know that my favorite letters to you is the Vintage Film Letters. And since I used these letters already instead of crafty, I said, baby, look, how wonderful would it be to have a fun of that right there, that vintage style letter. Then I had this wonderful idea, craft man, for all the capital letters, use that set right there. And for all the lowercase letters, 
do that little set right there. And that would give me both of my film little sets in one fight. Come on now. You know that's a good idea. So that's what we're going to try to do today is to get this right there and a fine. Now theoretically, you could just come right here and do that right there. But here's the problem, as you can see, that's white letters on a white background. Now I don't want to spray paint all these letters black. I said we could just put this up on a pane of glass like that. Use that as a guide underneath it, then move it change with a bad black wrap, the invert on the computer, crap now. So what I decided to do was just to lay out all the letters. Just about like that right there. Everything crooked, I realized that. But that's one of the benefits to taking your photograph and then bringing it into the computer cause you can adjust, you can correct them letters. So now I'm going to give me some high resolution photographs of this right here. With 3D letters, if you want a good flat letter, if you want to try to get the least amount of distortions, uh, my recommendation to move your camera back up, then zoom in on it. Instead of being closer and zooming back, that wide angle going to exaggerate thing. So better to move your camera up here and then zoom down on it. And we don't want them long shadows in it. So I'm going to move these lights around. Just about like that right there. So I got us a high resolution image. And now it's just a process of desaturation to make it black and white. And I'm just going to play around with the levels, the brightness, contrast, to give me a nice crisp outline around these levels. And I'm going to invert the image and I'm going to remove the background. Now I'm just going to cut and paste the letter over into that corresponding box. I did not know if I could make a fight. I never have made one. And today we just made one. It took me a minute to come up with a name to call it. And I just said, uh, SC Film Fight. Now that we have our own steady craft inventors film fine, we can type out anything we want to type out or right for. A real neat thing that you can do with fonts is to do variation. A craftsman does not like to use heavily distressed fonts because if you got the same little mark on your little letter E there, over and over, over, it's going to just be repetitive. I have all sets of composite. Long story short, I like to have variations between my letters. So for me, it might be worth it to take all my vowels and to just go ahead. Even though it's going to be very slight different, that might be neat to have just some variation to the, to the vowel letter, to any letter, but really, the ones that gets you the lot, all right. Now variations going to be even more so important 
when you get to talking about uh, careful letters, you know, that's one E. That's another E right there. Uh, that's an E. You can give calligrapher different variations of the same letter. That's pretty neat. It's coming down now. I hope this was useful to you. Please tell me that you're going to make your own fun. If you want to make your own fun, but you intimidate don't be afraid. You just got to let her rip. You know, let her. Alphabet number. Remember to please uh, do not unsubscribe, please. I love y'all and keep on. They're the crafty.